Hi everyone, how's it going? <laughs> I look like I'm in some kind of uh, photo booth, don't I? Picture one, Ka-ching. picture two, Ka-ching. anyway, let's get to it. Last weekend, went to the uh, Van Life Meets big picnic and uh, yeah, I had a really, really good time. Met up with uh, Cassie and Vince and uh, Rob from Red Pill Emotion, met some new people. Um, who did I meet? Oh, Phoebe on the road. She's a lovely girl. And uh, yeah, we had a magical weekend. I'll put a couple of pictures in. I didn't do much filming, uh, basically, because it, to me, was more of a social event than just getting the camera out and pointing it. And uh, there were a few people there. Uh, the Camper Vibe girls were there. They did a talk on their um, experience in France with their head gasket which they reminisced about, which was uh, quite funny. You know, they are so cool because they just bounce off each other. You know, proper right pair they are, you know, and lovely girls. Jamie was also there and, uh, yeah, had a quick look at his old uh, uh, Mercedes Varo. Um, big brown one, well, not brown, beige with the red cross. Absolutely stunning inside. And, uh, yeah, we've become really good friends. Yeah, you know, we've met up a few times. And uh, yeah, here's a quick look inside his van. Then Dogs in a Pickle did their, uh, did their speech on alternative living, life on the road, uh, digital nomads. That was really, really good. And Vince was there telling his side about the, uh, about the Wi-Fi. He, is, he lives completely off grid, works off grid and he works at IT and has done for quite a while. So it was really, really, really informative. Absolutely brilliant idea of getting everyone together. And uh, yeah, met up with uh, Phil Fa uh, Fester's Van Life. Sorry, mate. Um, spent the night with them, first of all. Then um, I moved because basically my van was just like on the, it was, it's quite a hilly place where it is. And it's a bit of a shame actually, because we had a good night. Um, and uh, Paul's van and uh, yeah we just had a right good crack and then um, in the morning I want to go to Lidl's I bought a little pressure washer that cost 50 quid I'll show you that a little bit now I think my batteries must have been flat because I think I could piss faster than it but it's a little pressure washer it's battery powered you can put the little end in a sink or in a bowl and you can wash your car your motorbike pretty much anywhere so I'll, uh, I'll show you that in a little bit. But unfortunately, um, last week before, hang on, I'll just get it. Somebody. Dinked my mirror. And it's broken the blind spot. Unfortunately, where am I? Euro car parts don't supply it. So I had to go on good old eBay. And because it's a heated mirror. So got myself another one. So I've got to fit that later. And then I thought, right, I'm going to order some Raptor paint because I want a Raptor uh, underneath the van. The wheel arches mainly. Um, well, yeah, basically all underneath. So I've ordered the paint. That's coming from paint supplier over in Chichester. Uh, Mount Space, I'll put a link in the description. They're really good. Um, I'm not 100% sure if they do mail order, but you know, if you're local where I live, then you know, they're, they're really good. I have to try and hold this phone a bit stiller. Um, who else did I meet at the Van Life Big Eats meet? Oh, yeah, Nick from Nick Rhymes. Wow, what a lovely girl. Spent probably about half hour talking to her. Wow, she's just, yeah, she's just a lovely, yeah, a lovely girl. Um, and then bumped into Liam. We had a bit of a talk. It was quite nice. And I was talking to uh, Rob, Red Pill in Motion, to probably about three o'clock in the morning. And uh, yeah, we were just like, just like Nat with our cold friends. And he said an absolutely amazing thing. And I'm gonna call it what he said. We all call it the van life community. I like that, but he come up with a better one. Van Life family. 
Now I really like that, I really like that, because it is a massive family. I truly believe that, you know, you've got friends and stuff like that, but they need to sort of call you, really, to say, you know, all right, mate, how's it going? Uh, you couldn't do this for my car, you couldn't do this for my van, you couldn't do this. But when you go to these meets, nobody wants anything from you apart from your friendship and your company. And that sits well with me. And I really, really, really like that. So uh, we've organised a trip uh, to go to Scotland. Hence the reason why I thought I'm going to go and wash my wheel arches, put a bit of Raptor paint on them, took the wheels off, check the disc and pads, notice this. Now to say I'm mortified and gutted is a slight understatement. Now in order to prepare this van to go to Scotland, I was gonna put two tires on the front because they're getting a little bit worse for wear. Um, I was gonna completely, you know, like go over the whole van, fine and tooth comb. Um, I'm still trying to finish the bathroom. I've put this panel here on now and I've painted it, you know, to match, you know, like that and then I'm gonna uh, varnish it because I've seen a transit that I really like and they've varnished it and it looks really smart so I wanted to do all that but now uh, and I think it's possibly my fault that I've yeah you know, this has happened the chassis is cracked and it's right near the airbags now uh, one of my mates Peter he actually did send me a link uh, this morning uh, to a an American couple that have had exactly the same. Now it's not too bad because you can weld round it, um, and then uh, you plate over the top of it because I don't really want it to start happening again. Well, I don't want it to go. But I think what it is is you pump the airbags up, and there's too much stress on the chassis. Now when I did buy this van, there, there was there was nothing wrong with it. It was you know no crud, no nothing. Um, apart from one little scab, which I'm, I'm sort of doing, um, and a little bit of scabs on the wheel arches, which I'm doing. So uh, I'm just going to, I've rubbed them down a little bit. I'll show you actually. Hang on. So there's the wheel arch. There's a little bit of scab that I've sort of prepared. Um, and I've stopped because you can't really see it. I've taken the wheel off. But I just repaired that little bit. It's just a little couple of scabs here. Um, and then there's going to be the old plastic weird arch that goes over that. The bottoms here are going to be wrapped or painted and all, all underneath. So I'm going to stick the old camera, so you can probably see. But yeah, it's all, it's all been prepared, it's all nice and clean. I washed them yesterday and uh, yeah, it looks all very nice. So that's ready for Raptor paint. And I've done like over there. So, oh, excuse the light. So you can see it's really, it is a clean van, apart from that little bit there, which I'll just say that that will be more textured, and then the splits. So you can see there's a little, few little bits and pieces to do. Um, I still haven't sorted out the pump. You know, you turn it on, it pressurizes, it comes out steadily but slightly pulses but as i said i'm going to live with that so yeah still got a backache just 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 constantly hurts on painkillers you get highs and lows but hey ho anyway i don't want to sound like i'm moaning because i'm not i'm grateful um i had a it might not mean much to most people but everyone knows that i have a daughter that's um mental health issues um, and she's very very much on and off and the other day went to uh, say good night and blew her a kiss and she blew one back and said I love you dad I just melted absolutely went to pieces that's all I wanted to hear so hopefully things are on the up uh, in October we are having a log cabin delivered so I'll have to build that. 
Um, but that's the sort of time I'm going away as well. So it's gonna have to go in the back garden somewhere and I have to build it when I come back. So I'm gonna leave you some, with some footage. And uh, first of all, I'll start with uh, <laughs> us saying hello. So thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you in the next one. Cheers, everyone. Love you, bye. All right, neighbour. All right, neighbour. All right, neighbour. <laughs> All right, neighbour. All right, neighbour. All right, neighbour. All right, neighbour. All <laughs> oh, neighbor. That's the channel for you. So uh, we had a pretty bad breakdown right in the south of Spain. So I think it was about 1,800 miles from home. Yeah. And we couldn't have timed it better because it was two weeks before Christmas. Yep. Uh, with Brexit. Brexit. Yeah. The pandemic, obviously, which we won't moan about because we no, knew cause... about that before we went. Yeah. We chose to go. Here we have Kevin's van. You in here, Kev? Hello mate! Hey! hey, hey. hey. The boys yeah. are in town! What are you doing? I'm just watching, uh, I'm looking at buying a 125 or 50cc scooter for the van. Oh yeah? So, and you got uh, your fridge in here? Yeah, household fridge. Cool. Running away. Full of beer. Full of beer. Oh! Look at the uh, duvet cover. Same as mine. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Wicked. Yeah, just having a chill out before all the music later. Yeah. Go. Catch up with you later. Right, see you in a bit, guys. Look at this, everybody. Look at that for lithium. <laughs> Mental. Washing machine, air conditioning, mini split. Look at that. Unbelievable. Yeah. We've got no panel, everyone. Proper smart. Computer desk, two monitors.